I just went viral yesterday. Um, Snoop Dogg posted one of my videos like two weeks ago. I go viral. That's, that's what I do. I find situations that, real situations that people are laughing. And you see a lot of people laugh at that. Yeah, you, I'm, you had a, a, lot, like a, lot of, a lot of people. A lot of people laughed at it. Definitely had a whole bunch of uh, stitches, and you had a you know had like yeah. old heads yeah. like myself. Like, bro, you did it wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I, I was, you know, I, 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 I kind of said that I, I don't think that <laughs> I don't think that you, you, you know, you kind of left it there. I think you kind of like made the video the way you made it. And then went back to the truck, cleaned everything out, and then took the truck back to where where it needed to go. Am I am I correct for, in my assessment? For sure, for sure. So, uh, and that, like I said, that's what I do. I do reality comedy. I messed up my life so many times in the past, and people laugh at me. That I started doing videos, and I, you know, I, I'm a good actor. I, I I really bring my emotions to it because a lot of this stuff is real. It's just things that happened in the past or things that I want to do. But that emotion, when I say y'all not about to play with my money, that was real. I was with, I was putting the job in. But at the same time, I, I said this in, in February when they took my raise back. When I quit, I'm going viral for sure. I'm going viral with y'all Chuck for sure when I quit. Because y'all, you, you, you can't, you can't do that. You can't play with people's money with kids. You can't take people's money away after you promise them money. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's let's talk let's let's talk about that viral man. So I mean, like you 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 pretty much planned that out through through throughout that particular day, right? So I mean, what what was the what was the what was the planning phase uh, throughout that day? Um, I literally woke up, so I had to I had to take the truck back to uh, Conley because I was starting with another job out in Atlanta. So I was starting with another trucking company in Atlanta. Um, so, you know, Rail has a, a terminal out there. So let me take this truck back to Atlanta. I'm going a, I'm to a do it. I already knew what video I was going to do. I don't eat seafood. So I'm going to I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of seafood for no reason. Put it all over the truck. I had it planned that day, that morning. That morning, I started my 15 minutes. I forgot to get the seafood. So I get back in my car, dry the covers, pick out a whole bunch. I don't even know what I was getting. You know, I don't eat salmon. I don't eat. I, I didn't even want to touch the lobster. <laughs> I was freaked out touching the lobster. Like, I was so different days. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, 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 had, I had everything planned. A couple of people knew about it. Uh, of course, my wife, you know, she, uh, she was on the phone the whole time while I was prepping and seeing what I was going to do with it. So, yeah, I, I have I have fun with it. <laughs> I definitely have fun with it. So we 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 looking we we looking at we looking at shrimp. We looking at lobster, salmon, some perch. <laughs> I mean, bro. Right. I mean, you, I, I mean, everybody was looking at that like, man, bro, spent a whole lot of money just to get just to not get it, uh, just to not keep a job and shit. I'm gonna be like, bro, spent about at least about a right. good hundred. That that lobster yeah, and shrimp ain't cheap. Yeah, it comes with ninety three dollars a thing. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. What what uh? Now, of course, you 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 posted it on uh TikTok. Was that your first platform of choice, or did you decide to like let me go in and put this together and see if I go ahead and uh, post it on YouTube? Um, I actually t- I post on everything at the same time. I post on Instagram first every time. Uh, every every time you see my videos, I post them on Instagram first, and I post them on, on both of my Facebook pages, and then I post it on TikTok. TikTok blocks a lot of my stuff. Like they blocked the video I went viral for yesterday. Um, so I don't really I don't really use TikTok except for just to see if something to go viral real quick, and they don't they don't block it. I really don't care about the TikTok you- page. But- you know Instagram what? Be- you you know what? Before we touch on, before we touch back on the money, man. You know, TikTok. I I don't I I I don't understand TikTok. That's why I don't. That's why I don't post content on TikTok as much as I used to, because I I did a I I guess what you call it. I did a stitch from a video that was already on TikTok. I did a stitch right. of it when the dude. You know, when the chick went in there and, you know, she hit the dude and I said, well, if you want to fight like a man, you're going to take this ass whooping like a man. And TikTok took it down. Yeah. TikTok took it down when it was up at maybe about 1500 views, bro. And I'm like, yeah, they, that's that's they, not. They, they do that. I, I, see, 
I'm not going nowhere. Hold on, what'd you say? No, 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 that, 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 that's TikTok for you, man. Like, they, um, I literally, somebody sent me a video the other day. Uh, I got, I mean, I, I still got 1.5 million views on it, but the same video on somebody else's page had 14 million. But it's like they pick and choose who they, who they let go right. viral or not, who they, you know, it's, right. it's crazy, I noticed, man. I noticed that too, man. Like, when you, like, when you do a video, like, your video, when it's being stitched, it's like it's like everybody else, you know, everybody else is getting a lot more views than your original video. Right, exactly. Exactly. They picking truth. I don't, I don't mess with TikTok, man. Well, I'm, the whole I'm social glad, media I'm, game kind of funny, man, but. Well, I'm glad somebody else, I, I got somebody else, an Ohio win feels the same way right, that right. your boy do. That's what's up. All right, so let's uh yes, Let's let's talk about the money, man, because you know a lot of it, 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 it's it's sad that a lot of these drivers are 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 getting messed over because of the money. Uh, there was a gentleman uh, by Jeremy. He went, you know, did murder suicide because you know the companies that he was driving for they was messing with his money. And then there was this right, other there right. was this other driver that uh that that got upset because of the same thing you know these companies are 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 messing with drivers money and thinking that it's okay to do that i mean what do you how how, how do you feel about that man like i mean literally what what do you what do you think about these companies that does that and why do you think they do that um i so i feel like first of all um you should probably, any truck driver should work for a company just to get the experience, just to see how the road is and, and how these deliveries go and, you know, how to, how to deal with the customer. Okay. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't stay with a company too long. I feel like everybody's goal should be, I mean, everybody is not here to own their own business or, or take responsibility like that. But I feel like if you really want to make money in trucking, you got to kind of go your own way and get your own truck, man. So, I, I, I just, I learned firsthand. I mean, I've a couple, a couple companies that'll pay you fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars a week. But at the same time, these people are making thousands of dollars to these deliveries. And they're paying us a couple hundred dollars a delivery, man. So, you know, you, you got these guys over the road, they drive for 1100, 700 miles, and you would make $400 when the company is making however many thousands they make. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I just feel like if you really want the money, um, I wouldn't stress that the company is not paying because you know that the company is not going to pay. We all know that. We, I came in again knowing that. But the company also, they, they put me on the road. They got me the experience. You know, they, uh, it, 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 it's, it's cool for the, for the first couple of years or few years or whatever. Get some money right, stack your money, get your own truck, man, and go make your own money. Man. So, that's some good advice, man. That's definitely some good advice because a lot of people, a lot of people that's coming into this industry, you know, they, they I, I said it before, a lot of people that's coming into this industry, man, is that they, they, they're not looking at this as, as how trucking used to be, you know, when guys got into it, they really had a, they really had a brotherhood for, for this man. And, and now there's right. number one, there's no brotherhood. There's a lot of disrespect between drivers, a lot of disrespect between shippers and receivers, a lot of disrespect out in these streets with the with the you know four wheelers. You know, it's 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 just the the face of trucking has really changed. And it's now to the point that when the millennials get into this industry. They're not getting into this industry just because, like, hey, you know, I want to be part of the community or be part of the lifestyle. No, I just want to get in it, get my money, and and use that money so I can become something else. In your situation, right. is that in your situation, is that how you thought about, you know, thought about trucking as as a stepping stone to, you know, up your career? Because you did. You did mention that you you say you're you're a comedian and all like that. How how does your trucking or the money from trucking helping you to build your career in the uh, in a in the comedy field? 
Um, so yeah, and I definitely helped. So I mean, I, when I first started trucking, I wasn't doing comedy. Uh, I was actually a boxer. So I boxed until COVID hit, and when that happened, you know, they shut down the gyms at the same time. So I came out here to drive. I started doing the comedy thing while I was on the road because I got so much time to think and you know put put together things while I'm on the road and I'm not doing that driving the whole time. My my head clear. So um, as far as far as the, you know the, the money, uh. We get to travel. We get to travel a lot. I just I was in Atlanta all last week. Uh, I flew straight from Atlanta to Houston, Texas. Uh, met some good people out there. Uh, I just got back home like yesterday. So yeah, I, I get to try. I haven't really been home on the weekend in probably seven or eight weeks. So I'm doing club appearances. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going out and back and forth to Atlanta and New York and things like that. Uh, the the money from trucking definitely helped me. You know, just traveling and connect with different people. So. That's one of the main things you need with any kind of rappers, comedians, whatever you do, you got to travel to go meet and connect with bigger people so that you can, and just to, just to put yourself out there so people around you can know that you really work. You don't have no money, you can't do that. So it, it definitely helped me with that. All right. Props, of course, spent a hundred dollars on some food just for a video to throw away. So, you know. <laughs> All right, so that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, look, I I definitely appreciate you coming on and uh, chopping it up with me, man. Because you, you know, you 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 was the talk of the town, bro. <laughs> you you definitely was the talk of the town. But do you? Let me ask you something. Now, let me ask you something because I I know I I know my feeling about truck abandonment and everything. But do you suggest you 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 don't suggest people to abandon their trucks on the highway, right? Oh, shoot. Started breaking up. Hello. Oh, okay. Did you hear me? I say you don't. I say you don't uh, suggest people start abandoning their trucks on the highway, right? Oh no, 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 not at all, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Um, yeah, it, 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 like like everybody said on the post. Um, I know mean, you've seen it a, a thousand times. Well, he's gonna he's gonna lose his career. He just signed his death certificate with Chucky. I mean, I'm not sure what will happen. I know it does hit you know the clearinghouse and all that. So. I wouldn't do it. I want myself, when I look for another job, I want them to look at it. Okay, he doesn't have any drug and alcohol abuse. He doesn't have any truck abandonment. You ain't, not even just abandoned. You don't want nothing on, on your record, man. So you definitely want to keep everything, everything in the state. Even if you're mad, get through it. Figure out what you're going to do, man. And I, and I can't say I almost did keep the truck on the side of the road later that day. They turned off my gas for it. I needed some gas. I told him, hey, <laughs> if this truck stop, I'm not putting my own gas in it. So, and then, so I, I, I'm i going to leave it where it's at. And they end up turning back on the gas car. But that was the only reason I would have literally left it on the side of the road. If they, you know, if I wouldn't, they turned off the gas car. If they're stuck, is their gas. I'm getting at the yard. You want me to get at the yard? Turn back on my gas car and I'll put some gas in it and finish the ride. But they end up turning it back on. But yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. I, I I I bet you that that trip back to the yard was funky. <laughs> Ooh, man, I, I can ima- I, I can imagine the 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 cleaning crew getting up in that piece, bro. <laughs> right, you're right. <laughs> oh man, damn. Well, hey man, I, I again, man, I appreciate you uh, coming on. And uh, chopping it up with me, man. Thank you very much. How can the people find you, bro? Uh, man, Instagram is my main platform. So Instagram, uh, it rains. M I T R A N G E underscore Martinez. Um, same thing. Facebook is Mid Range Martinez with no space. Uh, YouTube Mid Range with a space Martinez. Uh, everything there. Instagram is my main thing, though. Get the Instagram. I respond to DMs. And- and stuff like that. People want to work. People want to connect with me. I travel a lot, so you know I don't care if you got a thousand followers or twenty, not five thousand followers. You know if you want to work and I see you really working, I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna I'm gonna work with you, man. I'm I'm real down to earth when it comes to this because a lot of people don't want to work with me because of my content. Even though I go viral all the time, and uh, you know all, all the bigger, a lot of the bigger people they they kind of shut me out a little bit because the stuff looks so real and it, it, it I feel like they think it's gonna hurt them, but. You can connect with me, man. Mid-Range underscore Martinez. I'm here. 
since you since you mentioned that your you know that majority of your videos have gone viral, who since your videos went viral, who who have reached out to you know to collab with you? Um, so I, I collab uh, a few times with uh, Munchie down in Atlanta. He's with uh, Robbie World. They 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 got they got. I know Robbie World got a million followers. Um, the truth, he posted a couple of my videos. He reached out. He's following me. I got a lot of big followers yesterday. For the video I posted yesterday, uh, of course, Snoop Dogg posted me. From Snoop Dogg posted me, I got the cookies there, and it's a weed brand. So I got cookies. Um, you know, I talked to them now. They, uh, they, re- I, that's who I did the video for. So they got the video out to a lot of people yesterday, uh, for me. They sent me out a pack. I'm going out to, yeah, I'm going out to cookies in LA, uh, next month. I'm, I'm going out to collab with them. Um, let me see. We we got a lot of a lot of people, a lot of big people, a lot of big followers, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff coming now. So. Okay, okay. So with with everything coming into place, you know, look like you got everything that's uh, you know, that's 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 coming your way. Where is trucking in all of that? If if anything. Um. Nah. You. So I'm, I'm still working now. Uh. You know, I still gotta 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 pay the bills right now, but. You know, like like anybody, man. If I get some type of deal and I'm, you know, I'm making it some real money, I, I I'm I'm not gonna leave the second industry because I know I know it's money here and I got people that I need to see. Um, so you know, just buying my own trucks and getting a fleet of trucks and you know, keep it moving. I'm not gonna be driving because I'm, a, you know, I gotta focus on this. But you know, I definitely want to get some trucks. My brother, me and my brother, we working on it now um, as far as getting our first truck. So uh, we, we gonna stay in it. Definitely will stay in it. All right, bro. Well, thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate uh appreciate the time, man. Uh how long have you been staying in Ohio? Uh I've been here all my life. I'm not, I moved to Atlanta a couple times. Um you know, for like a year at a time, but I I've, I've been here my whole life. Uh between Columbus and Cincinnati. I'm back and forth. I I move around a lot, so all right, that's what's up. Well, I'm on my I'm on my way back home now. I'm from Cleveland, bro. So it's good to meet you. Uh, definitely gonna talk to you again, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully when you blow up, man, you 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 come on the you come on the Lockout Men podcast show and uh, show some love over here, man. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, you know, Cleveland. I'm, I'm in Cleveland at least once a month too. So I got some people out there that I work with. So uh, you know, we can make that happen anytime. No yeah, doubt, bro. Way, so. All right, man. I know you're busy and everything. So, you know, again, thank you very much, man. And we'll connect uh, later down the line. Oh, yeah, for sure. I appreciate you, man. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, it went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Y'all fit to me like this symphony. Your career's done, done, done.